Fort Worth ISD is struggling with declines in enrollment and, like other school districts, lack of new funding from the state. Tonight, the school board is expected to vote on staff position cuts. The superintendent announced a decision in a letter Monday. And Fox News' Lori Brown joins us live. Lori. Chris, tonight will be the second night that the school board in Fort Worth meets behind closed doors in executive session to discuss staffing cuts. But unlike last night's meeting tonight, the school board is set to take a public vote on the proposed cuts. The big question here is where is the transparency? On the same day, Fort Worth ISD's superintendent announced the need to examine cuts to its staff. The school board held the first of two special closed door meetings to discuss the proposal. I won't be able to hear the presentations this evening or make public comment after that happens. Meredith Bowman, a teacher in the district, said it was frustrating that the details about the cuts being considered are not public. Teachers and employees are afraid to speak up. In a letter sent out Monday, Superintendent Dr. Angelica Ramsey wrote, it has become necessary for us to make additional reductions both in budgets and staff. She explained the reductions are necessary due to declining enrollment, Texas lawmakers failing to increase public school funding, federal COVID relief dollars ending in September, and a projected budget deficit for the upcoming school year. Holly Plumens, a mother of three children in the district, urged the board to consider cuts at the top first. She said teachers called her with concerns. From teachers that are scared, afraid of what's going to happen, not understanding why Dr. Ramsey was asking for a raise bonus and asking for a contract extension when they're going to lose their jobs. The superintendent received a modified contract late last month with no pay raise and a performance bonus that would now roll into a retirement plan instead of being a cash payout. In her letter, Ramsey wrote that more than 80% of the district's budget goes to employees. It is with a heavy heart that we make these decisions, and we are doing so as early as possible to provide ample time for affected employees to explore alternative opportunities. We anticipate notifying impacted employees no later than this coming Friday. Fort Worth resident Amy Super said the district should reveal more about what positions could be cut. How am I supposed to make a public comment giving my opinion on something you're considering if you don't let me see it before you decide on it? Dr. Ramsey added in her letter that there could be other positions in the district for affected employees, including additional positions that open up as retirements may be announced in the spring. She said that the district is prioritizing students with the proposed cuts. Clarice. Lori Brown Live, we will be covering tonight. Lori, thank you.